Okay, so we're going to solve quadratic equations in this chapter. And the very first section here is uh, solving a quadratic equation by doing the square root method. So, first of all, what, what is a square root? Well, it's the process of finding a number that's been previously squared. So we say that uh, if b squared equals a, that means b uh, is a square root of a. Whenever you take the square root of a number, there's always going to be two answers. One of them is going to be a positive. We call that the principal square root. And the other one is going to be a negative. And I do want to distinguish the difference between taking the square root of a number or uh, finding the square root of a variable. And, uh, and we'll make sure that we, we talk about that today. The square root symbol is uh, the radical and the number that's uh, inside is the radicand. All right, so when we have the problem, the square root of 81, what we're really asking for is the principal square root, meaning the positive square root. So since 9 times 9 equals 81, 9 is the principal square root. When you have the negative symbol out in front of the radical, that's telling you that you want to find the square root of 81 and then take the opposite of that. In this case, that's going to give you a negative answer. The plus or minus symbol is going to tell you that they want both the positive and the negative square root. So that plus or minus symbol um, is going to refer to all the time that you're going to want both. Zero doesn't have a positive or a negative. A zero only has one square root. And we say that if you have a negative number, you, you can't take a square root because there aren't two numbers that you can multiply it together to make a negative. A positive times a positive is a positive, and a negative times a negative is a positive. So you can't take the square root of a negative because there aren't two numbers that will multiply to make a negative. It's going to be really an advantage for you to know perfect squares. As you're taking square roots, if you can know all the way up through about 15 is good. So, you know, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36. It's nice to know that 25 and 36 are perfect squares. If you're taking a square root of a number that's not going to turn out to be an integer, you're going to get an irrational number. And uh, irrational numbers we can uh, we could solve with the calculator pretty easily. But most of the time, I'm going to want you to leave your, your irrational numbers uh, in radical form. All right, so again, this is going to be asking us to take the opposite of the square root of 36. That's just going to be a negative 6. This one, it's, we can do decimals too. 121 is a perfect square. You should see the 11 in the 121. So 1.1 would be the square root. You should see that 0 0.04 is a perfect square because 2 squared is 4, so the square root is going to be 0.2. And here we have an answer that's not going to come out as an integer. This is one that if you want to simplify it uh, and give a radical answer, you're going you're to follow a process that I'm not going to show you right now. And it, but if you want a, uh, a decimal approximation, this is one you can plug into your calculator. And as a decimal approximation, it's going to come out to about 2.83. Notice that we use the approximately equals two signs to talk about that. One of the problems that you're going to have in your homework tonight is um, they're going to give you this uh, b squared, the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And of course, most of you already recognize this as a part of the quadratic formula. And in your homework tonight, they're going to ask you to plug in a 7, plug in an 8, <laughs> plug in a 1, and simplify. And the only thing I would tell you to remember when you do that is you have to do everything inside, just like there's parentheses around the whole thing before you take the square root. So you have to, 8 squared is 64, 7 times 4 is 28. I like to leave that negative sign in there until the very end when I subtract. And here we come out with a nice integer. If you're asked to evaluate this with a calculator, you're actually going to have to do two problems. Uh, there's a plus and a minus. 
So you're going to have to do a 1 plus 2 radical 6 over 4, and then that would go in your calculator. Make sure that whichever in the numerator you put in parentheses in your calculator. And then once you do that one, you're going to go ahead and do the minus 1, and again, it'll be 1 minus 2 times the square root of 6, and that will be all divided by 4. And that's the way that you uh, would uh, put that in your calculator. And so in this case, you're going to get one answer uh, is going to be a, a little bit bigger than a positive, and one's going to be a little bit less than a zero. Get one positive, one negative for this one.